Hey everybody, Real Estate Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. People can no longer afford to even rent. And the proof is in the pudding. There are widespread evictions happening right now all over the country. I want to bring you a story out of Fox News. Then I'm going to show you an amazing website that's tracking all of this. Let's share the screen and show you what's going on. Out of Fox News, increased rental rates causing widespread evictions. It says here, these increased rental rates are creating difficulty for people trying to keep up with payments, which subsequently is leading to lots more evictions. According to the National Low Income Housing Coalition, more than half of the U.S. workers cannot afford to rent a one-bedroom apartment while only working one full-time job. Now cities across the U.S. are seeing more tenants removed from their rentals. Houston real estate attorney Ernie Gaza, Garza said that the, since the uh, pandemic, holy cow, it's early this morning, more households have struggled to keep up with their bills and rental payments. We've seen definitely an increase in the rise in those numbers, Garcia said. Rising rent prices push record number of Americans towards housing crisis, prompting legislative action. Well, of course it takes legislative action. Now, I personally believe that the government is going to get so involved here pretty quickly that they're going to, uh, one, start even more pushing more rental assistance, but also they're going to start, I believe, doing some pretty draconian measures like telling landlords that they're not allowed to raise rents a certain percentage, things like that. We saw that in the pandemic, but this is sort of now it's new epidemic. And the government, anytime they get their hands into uh, this kind of situation, it never works out well at all. Um, the NLIHC says that half of people who have full time, uh, who have a full time job and make up to thirty three dollars an hour, can't afford a one bedroom rental. Now, let's dive over to this website. I want to show you Eviction Lab, and it shows right here uh, the the evictions that they are tracking. And it's saying here that they've been tracking weekly eviction filing since March of 2020 to monitor the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and associated policies. So this is a great website to show you to keep an eye on what's going on nationwide as far as evictions. Um, you know, in all of my years in investing in real estate, I've only had to evict one person. And the only reason they were current on their rent. They are actually part of a government rental assistance program. So I got a check from the government. I got a check from them, but they were dealing drugs. They were doing illegal activities out of the property. So I had to evict them. That was in New Mexico. It was actually a pretty easy uh, process. And then um, one person did a midnight move out when I raised the rent $25. So other than that, I haven't had to evict a lot of people. I've been really uh, good. Even in my property management company, we didn't have to do any evictions. We had some slow rents, things like slow paying, things like that. But I've been very lucky. Um, I attribute some of that to the way I handle my tenants um, with respect and taking care of them. But you know, but anyway, I want to show you this. It's really neat to be able to compare up to three different locations and in the country. And then you could click here, show the comparison. And I think this is amazing because as you see these percentages start to increase, uh, you're going to see more and more deals as um, shade tree, let's call them for lack of better terms, uh, landlords start to freak out and start to sell their property. So I think that's going to be absolutely an awesome thing. So check out evictionlab.org. Also want to remind you, and this is the, uh, the code right here, um, right here, if you want uh, the pre-filming discount for Mortgage Master and the Mortgage Master 2.0 series, the investor series is going to be done by Monday. So we've got what, three, four days left. If you want to take advantage of that price, it'll never be that price again, where I'm going to show you how to become a serious borrower when it comes to mortgages and save lots of money, whether it be for your first home, your next refi, or buying 50 rentals. I don't want you paying excessive fees. I'm going to teach you everything about the mortgage industry, and I'm going to keep adding lessons because the mortgage industry is about to go through some massive changes in the next 12 months because of all the crisis that's going on in the lending industry itself. I'm going to keep putting new lessons on. Hope you guys have a great day. The Real Estate Ninja is out.